I decided to film a high bun fishtail hairstyle. I think I said it right. <laughs> so yeah, I think this will be perfect if you're going to school, if you're going to uni, if you're going to work. It's nice, quick and easy. It doesn't take too long. And yeah, it's something a bit more different than the usual hairstyles. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, comment below your thoughts on this hairstyle. And also, I have very special news for you. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to be giving away a discount code for you last to use. So, you know, I thought, why not if I get an advantage, I want to give it to you guys. So don't forget to use the code below for you guys to get 30% off these products. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye! Some of you know I already have very long and thick hair. But to demonstrate this to you guys, I wanted a bit more extra volume. To demonstrate for you guys, I'm going to be using three different tracks. And these ones are called Black Beauty Wefts. So they come like this, as I said, this is from Bombay Hair. And I'm not very big on hair extensions. I have tried maybe once before for a video, and I, this is my second time. But these ones are so soft. It was like, I am quite jealous of your hair, because mine's not as soft as this, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply these. So to start off with this hairstyle, I'm going to be sectioning off each hair. You can go ahead and use your fingers, or I'm using a thin comb like this. I think it's called a rat tail comb. What I'm going to do is section my hair off. Starting from the bottom area and then going up. You see, left with a bit of hair down, and I'm going to just get these clips and just put on my hair and do it section by section. I feel like that works best. I look like a weirdo. You can get these in various colors just so you can get more of a natural look. Because I know some hair extensions have such a you know, a solid look, it doesn't look quite natural because obviously no one's hair is one straight colour all round. This is what it looks like, it's so soft and I love it how it's all neatly cut. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this on the back of my hair. I'm going to place this right in my scalp and then clip it in and have three clips. One, two, as you can see right here, my natural hair is a bit longer than the hair extensions, but it's okay because it's for the volume. And the colour suits quite well. Lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all my hair and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. Bye! So once all the tracks are in your hair, you can go ahead and straighten your hair. I'm just going to be straightening it using the Bombay Hair Straightener to give my hair a bit of a sleek look so it's not as frizzy as it is naturally. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it like I normally would. Now you can choose to put hairspray on the sides if you want to get some frizziness out. You can also use a toothbrush to comb all the fine hairs back. I'm going to be using a bristle brush like this. I'm going to be using a bristle. I'm going to be using a bristle. I'm going to be using a bristle brush like this. That was a tongue twister. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on my hair in high bun. High ponytail. Why do I keep saying high bun? High ponytail. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and hairspray all the sides just to get all the frizz out of my way. And then I'm going to go ahead and back come up with the same brush. You can obviously use bobby pins to secure more of your hair, especially if you have shorter hair. But if you don't, just use hairspray and then comb it back. And don't forget the back end as well. So once that is done, you can choose to do this yourself or you can get help for the next step depending on you and how, I guess, strategically well you work with your own hair. But yeah, I'm going to go get help from my mum because I cannot do a fresh braid, fresh braid, fresh braid behind me. As weird as that sounds, I'm just not that coordinated. So what I'm going to do now is after you have all your hair in a high ponytail, I'm going to back comb or tease the top of my ponytail. This part over here so we can get more volume when we're fishtailing it. Just to make it something different, we're going to start the fishtail from here and down. So I've inspired by a lot of images on Tumblr. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. just teasing my hair piece by piece and she's putting it on this side once it's done. Instead of the usual 
high. My mom's going to begin the fishtail braid and she's going to show you how to do it. So we're going to part the hair into two and we're going to grab a tiny bit of the section on the right hand side and bring it to the middle and then we're going to do the same on the left hand side. So grabbing, not the whole thing, just a piece from the most left section, the far left section I guess, and bring it to the middle and we're going to continue doing that as you can see. bombahair.com. I'll put the link below to go see all their hair tools and the hair extensions. They have amazing quality and it works perfectly fine as you can tell. And I just want to thank you Bombahair for giving me a discount code to share with you loves. So the discount code is Lillian. I'm going to link it below right here. I'll put it in the description as well. It's L-I-L-I-A-N for your chance to get $10 off any hair extension. And Lillian 30, so Lillian and the number 30 for your chance to get 30% off any of the hair tools. So something like this, you can get 30% off. I'll put all the links and information for them all below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts on it. And if you would rock this hair, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I love and I don't you guys. Bye!